The first county, Cumberland County Fair was here in Greenup and it was in 1858 that it was organized and it was located, it would be in the village of Greenup just north and then it was there for two years and it was they always had the fair in October back then. And then they decided that they would move the fair to Prairie City, which is the county seat, but now it is called Toledo. And it was just about a half a mile or a mile out of town on about 10 acres. And it was there that for approximately from 18, 60 to 1888, whenever they moved it back to Green up to the present location. It was noted that back that Frank James had did, uh, did the horse racing and they paid him $100 and how they was able to locate this, they went back in the old secretary books and was able to see that that's what he had got paid. Cumberland County Fair has always been noted for good horse racing. And I was told by my dad in the early years that when he was a kid, that his mom and dad would load the kids in the wagon on early Saturday morning. And his mom would fry chicken and fix stuff and they would head for the fairground. And they would spend the day at the fair and that's when he really decided that he really enjoyed the fair. And my dad was John Kemper, which served ever place on the fairground that he possibly could serve and he was president and vice president and he was honored for 43 years of service that he had spent on the fairground. What really excited me when you came down over the hill and you could see all of the carnival rides, all the bright lights and everything and it was just a thrill to think, oh, I just want to really enjoy this because back then the fair started on Sunday and the carnival, everything was, you know, in set and ready to go. I think the people just really enjoy it, you know, really enjoy it. And the businesses in town would close at one o'clock and attend, and even the courthouse in Toledo would close at noon so they could all, everybody could attend the Cumberland County Fair and it's for kids. That's the main thing of the fair is, you know, your sheep, your cattle, your hogs. You have people bringing those in and, and they're judged and you have junior shows and stuff and horse shows and I mean, it's for the kids. That's what I've always felt like, that the fair is for the kids to enjoy. Toledo was founded on June 10th, 1854. So three years later is when the Toledo Democrat started. The Toledo Democrat is the oldest business in Cumberland County and it was founded in 1857. We purchased it in Janu on January 1st of 1999, but I have worked there since 1987. When we bought it in 99, we had one computer, and now we have five, two commercial printers, a fax machine. We did not have fax. We did not have internet. We had rotary phones. Everything is digital now. Even our newspaper is digital. I used to have to paste it up by hand. Now we do it all on the computer. We email it down. I pick it up. And before I had to paste it up, we had a wax machine. We had a dark room, and so it, it, everything has totally changed. The Democrat, we wanted to change the name. And in our newspaper, it says politically independent because of Democrat. But it's in our contract, we can't change the name because that's what their father named it. We cover the whole county. We are the only newspaper that covers the whole county. The most important thing is traffic, realty, deaths, uh, and they love the board meetings. We cover Jewett, Neoga, Greenup, the county. People appreciate the paper. I think even the younger generation is, they get it. And every time we get a new postmaster or a new worker at Toledo, 
it takes doesn't take them very long. They realize when we get those papers down there, you best be putting them in the box because those, everybody in Toledo wants their newspaper. Our motto is, if you're good to the community, the community will give back, and the community has been great. So when we bought it, we had 600 subscribers, now we have 1,900. But now the younger generation likes it because of the sports. They, and I have a lot of parents that when their kids go to college, they buy them a six month subscription for when they go to college. And of course, these other kids are from big cities and they can't believe that this stuff's in the local newspaper because the big cities cover the politics and we don't cover any of that. We just cover Cumberland County, hometown news, what's important to people in Cumberland County. Johnstown is the oldest community in Cumberland County. In fact, it's older than the county itself. It was founded in 1827. At that time, it was part of Clark County. Later, it was part of Coles County. And finally, in 1843, it was part of Cumberland County. Johnstown is located three and three quarters miles due south of Lerna. John Tully placed a grist mill on Muddy Creek in 1827. Later he built a horse-powered grist mill that could be used in low water times. He also had a still and he made whiskey. Tully stayed there until 1837. He sold out to a Bob Dixon and a Walter Patterson who called the town Sheffield. Alfred Alexander purchased the land from Dixon and Patterson in 1846 and with the assistance of his son John started to lay out the town. It's named after John Alexander and the name has stuck since then. At that time Johnstown was a significant community. However, it did not get a railroad as Lerna, Janesville and Trilla did and did not have a major highway constructed to it. Its heyday was in the 1860s to the early 1880s. At that time, the railroad started coming to the other communities. In 1884, there was a store, several shops, two to three members of the professions, which I would interpret to be doctors. Although Johnstown is not incorporated and does not have many businesses, in recent years, Johnstown has been, had somewhat of a rebirth. There are a number of new houses, all built near Muddy Creek uh, in the wooded areas. Until about five years ago, there was a Johnstown celebration that happened each year around the 1st of June. It is the oldest community in Cumberland County. A lot of people, even in Cumberland County, don't know that Johnstown exists. So George Lewis Jr. was my grandfather who hailed from Cumberland County. Him and his wife raised their eight children here in um, just north of Greenup in a little burb referred to as Timothy. Of one of four boys from the Lewis family, he was drafted um, at the young age of 22. Uh, from Scott Air Force Base, he was sent down to Fort Blagg where he then joined the 101st Airborne um, B Battalion and he was a guider pilot. Um, from there, they were sent overseas, um, which was a 45-day boat ride. My grandfather was shot down in Holland in the Battle of the Bulge, and uh, he likes to tell people that he was took longer to get out of the Army than it did to get into. He actually had the bullet, which he was shot down with, um, inside of his body for about three months um, before they did surgery to remove it. He uh, did receive a Purple Heart for this, and he also received the bullet, which was in him. Um, he had told the doctor whatever it was that was in him he wanted when it was over. So after the surgery and he received the bullet, he was sent back, uh, dis discharged to Topeka, Kansas, where he was awarded his Purple Heart. Um, from there, then he came back to Cumberland County. George left us in February of 2012 after a long, wonderful years 
many of them here within Cumberland County. The stories of U.S. history and how it impacted not only family, local history, but to be able to share that I think is more important than anything you would ever learn from a history textbook. But we had um, somebody within our family who had served our country, um, served proudly. He's our hero. The man was extremely, extremely generous. A very humble man, if you can, as you can be with that amount of money, you know. He didn't flaunt it. He was, a, he was always a true gentleman, and you know, in every, every sense of the word. May the 15th of 1922, Burnham was born to Edgar and Lauren Neal. Burnham's dad started the oil, Fleet Oil Company in 1925. And Burnham's mother was a school teacher in, in Toledo. And Burnham then in 1945 took over ownership of Toledo Oil Company. He moved his service or his office to a service station right there in town and uh, changed, finally changed the name from Toledo Oil Company to Neal Oil Company. At that time he kept going out and purchasing more gas stations and ended up with more than he can handle that in one little location. So he moved his office across the street to a vacant Studebaker dealership, which had been run by his dad but earlier, from 45 through the 50s. And uh, ended up, he opened a tire shop there in, in, that off, in that office to have warehouses. At about the same time, he started Ben Tire as a wholesale business started purchasing more stores. The first store he put under the Neal Tire and Auto Service na name was Mattoon. Then he went, the next one was Toledo, then Charleston, and that was become known as a, his triangle store. He went ahead then and kept purchasing more and more and more stores and locations until he ended up with a time that he had over 30 stores and operations and he had five, five warehouses that he had managed and at the time of employing over 250 employees. Then he started the, his uh, Neal Foundation. Burnham's idea was to give back to the area and the community for the people that had supported him. He was very, very instrumental in starting the Lake, at the start of Lakeland College and he contributed on up kept on contributing to it. He has a room there named Neil Hall. And he went on to Sarah Bush, which was very, very instrumental in donating to Sarah Bush. Of course, and then he went on to Eastern. And you all know about Eastern. We had the Welcome Center that started to come back into Toledo area with his giving. He and Rosemary donated the ground there to where the uh, Life Center is located. They also have a park there in Toledo named Neal Park. We have, uh, last but not least there, we have the Y that was funded through personal and his uh, foundation, and they're still supporting that. It was something that he had thought about and wanted. He'd been, even before his passing, it was a, a dream of his. Toledo is so much better off with all, with with all that Burnham has done. He's so proud, he's so proud of his town. I saw on one of his little log logos, it said, Neil Tire, we do it right. I wanna say one thing, Burnham, I hope I've done this right for you. Yes, wonderful stories. <laughs> Boy, those are some great stories of really historical value stories. there. Absolutely, and Sarah, don't you just love her sweet little heartfelt story 
talking about her sweet grandpa. I do. Oh. I tell you what, that was a great story. It we had a little was. struggle getting through it, <laughs> but you know what? I'm glad that we were able to honor your yes. grandpa, Sarah. Um, you were a part of the Mattoon program with us, and you wanted to be a part of this because you know that this is a way to archive value, and what a great way to honor your grandpa. Oh, and you did the story so well, Sarah, yes, so yeah. you did very well. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a challenge out there for all the people who know Sarah, because Sarah yeah. works at the Y. I know there's a lot of people with the Y. If you know Sarah, respect her enough to call in and tell her thank you by getting a copy of that DVD That's tonight. right. That's exactly right. Yeah, I love honor that. Honor her grandpa and tell her thank you. Yeah. What a great one. Oh, there we are right there. We thank go. you very much. Thank we'll you We'll give you a so shout much. out soon. <laughs> so we got shout outs to we give, right? Do. Okay, Absolutely. you start. Well, Bill in Nioga and Barb in Nioga and Kathy in, is it Sigal? Sig Sigal. 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 See, you can tell I ain't from around here. Well, I can tell it by listening to your voice, what? honey, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> It's all right. But hey, I'm having fun. Yes, you are, and I'm having a great time with you. That's why I could joke with That's you. That's exactly right. So, hey, I've got some thank yous. I've got Daniel from Toledo. I've got Shirley from Toledo and Sharon from Mattoon. And then I also have an anonymous donor who wants yes. to donate in honor of all the law enforcement in Cumberland County, both past and present. So I thank you very that. much for that. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Very nice. Awesome. So uh, we heard about the fair. Yes. Lots of fun to have there. We heard about the Toledo Democrat. We want to say thank you to all the newspapers oh, yes. in Cumberland County. Yes. Uh, the Toledo Democrat was a part of our show tonight. We want to thank you, Billy Chambers, for being a part of our champion group, being one of our champions, yes. as well as a storyteller. So, um, and John we, Barger. And John Barger. Talking about we'll talk John's to him in town. just a minute. Oh, my goodness. And he had so much information. It was just wonderful, and he didn't want to leave anything out. No. So that was great. No, and um, the Burnham Neal story. Yes. Yeah. Gene Nichols, what what a story. Yeah, and you he was very sincere. You can just feel his heart mm -hmm. in that story. I yeah. thought, wow, when he, when he says, I hope I did you right, I thought, my goodness, honey, you hit that ball out of the park. Absolutely. You did it perfect. So those are some more great stories that you can get and you can watch anytime. You can share with your family, your friends. The holidays are coming up. We mentioned yes. that a little earlier. You'll want to get a copy of the DVD to share. So two or more are $60. One is 75 So why not get two or more? Well, why not get three or four and give them to your friends and family? Yes, absolutely. Or you could meet uh, Marlene's challenge. All the farmers in Cumberland County right? can call. Absolutely. All the sore heads in Toledo, Larry put that uh, <laughs> challenge out. I love so it. I'll tell you what, we got lots of people we got challenges yes, from, and we got do. lots of operators that are standing by to take your call. They right need now. to be, get busy. They want to get busy. They want to talk to you. So please call right now. The number's on your screen. Don't hesitate. Call and talk to these wonderful mm -hmm. storytellers. All right. This is the time to call because we've got. I think four more stories to share, and yeah. then we're going to close up the yes. show. But right now, we haven't had a phone blitz yet. I know. But we want one. We know it's late, but yeah. we have people hanging with us in the studio. That's right. and we know you're sitting there right there in your chair, comfy yeah. and relaxed, but go ahead and pick that cell phone up and just dial the number That's at the bottom of your right. screen. That's all you have to do. We want to ring the bell and we want to give you a shout out on TV. Yes, we do. So please don't hesitate. Pick up the phone and call us right now and get your DVD Absolutely. of this wonderful, rich history of Cumberland County. And once again, we're going to put it up there on your screen. One copy is $75. Yes. Two or more are $60 each. So we want you to give us a call right now. You can go online and donate as well if you want to. But we would love to hear from you tonight in the studio. I've got one of our storytellers here, uh, John Barger, and he told the story, John's Town. So... Um, you used to live around that area, right? A mile and a quarter away from downtown Johnstown. Yeah. That, 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 that's why I was interested in it. Uh, it was quite a significant community at one time. Uh, if you go through Johnstown today, you just have to know where you're at. <laughs> Not as much there today, right? Uh, no, there's uh, houses, but no stores, uh, no businesses. Yeah. Two churches. But, uh, but it's still it was important. a significant community. It's actually older than Cumberland County itself. Wow, that's some great history. 1827. That's amazing. That's wonderful. I'm so glad that you told that story tonight, and I'm so glad that you're here with us tonight. Thank you. Thanks for being a part of the show. Wanda Kay, back to you. 
I love talking about all of those Good wonderful job. memories that all of the storytellers have. And you know, all of them mention in every little town there's, there's a church or there's two or three churches. And I love that. In Hazeldale, there's a church on each corner. And so you can't miss it. You can go to church. If you don't want to go to church on one side of the road, go to the church on the other side of the road. I love that beautiful history of family and churches mm -hmm. in the Cumberland County area. Lots of history being told tonight by 31 storytellers. We 31. have 30 stories, but yeah. um, like I said, we had two and the radio show story yeah. earlier. But um, we've got four more stories coming your way. Something that I've noticed throughout this is not only do the storytellers and champions of Cumberland County like to party with us tonight, <laughs> but they love to have festivals. They, they do. They have fairs, they have festivals, they have tent shows back yes, in the day. They They're still carrying yep. on those traditions. It doesn't matter what part of the county you go to, you're able yep. to celebrate down there through music, through uh, rides and food. We've got lots of food here tonight. Yes. I mean, these people know how to put on a good show. They really do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we want you to call in right now. Right there you can see somebody's taking an order for a DVD. We know it's late, but we got four more stories coming your yes. way. You can give us a call right now. We only have one phone operator on the phone. The number's at the bottom of your screen, and you can go online too at weiu.net. If you want to, you can message us on Facebook. We've got people who are standing by. I've got Everett Lau over here. He is our social Facebook media, I tell you what, guru. Is what he is, and he is He's amazing. A sweetheart. And you know what, what else? He, he won an Emmy. We've yes, won our 17th Emmy now for News Watch, and he's one Yay! of them right there. Turn around and say hi. Pretty amazing. And Vince, That's Vince amazing. won one too. And then this is this is what we do. We allow opportunities for our students. Yes. So thank you for being here tonight, Everett. We appreciate all that you do, as well as all the students who are here tonight. We appreciate the School of Communication and Journalism and the faculty and the staff and all the WEIU staff here tonight as well. So we're here for you. We're working hard for Cumberland County. They're working hard for you. They're sharing all kinds of stories on behalf of where you live, oh, work, and play. Oh, it was the sweetest thing just a few minutes ago. Some of them had me cornered over there and they said, okay, we're working on a follow-up. We've yeah. already got more stories to tell. Right, that's I'm what like, Bob oh Blade told goodness. me when he walked in. He goes, we've got about four sequels planned. That's right. <laughs> they're, they're ready. That's funny. But you know what? You get to be a part of this show and then you're like, you know what? We should have told that. Exactly. We should have talked about this. Exactly. And that's okay. We may that. come back around, but right, right now, tonight is what's important. It is. So please call us right now. Get your DVD for $75. You know what? That's a steal, isn't it? It is. It's I'm a good telling, bargain. Because so much history and so many wonderful storytellers. So two or more DVDs are $60. Please pick up the phone and call us and join in the fun. Join in the party. Join the family. <laughs> That's hey, right. Hey, um, there's another phone call. Yay. Yay. That will scare Jeannie, but go ahead and answer that. <laughs> Hey, we, we're gonna, speaking of festivals, we're going to hear from Larry Stoltz again yes, in the next segment oh, about he's the such a great storyteller <laughs> about the Toledo Fall and Spring Festival. Um, Charlie McKinney, Early Neoga yes. Railroads. Our um, sweet Charlie, he he wasn't feeling very well, so he couldn't be here with us tonight. But he, I'm sure he's watching. Yeah, he was a lot of fun. We met he with was. him early on during this whole uh, project. Vivian Hallett uh, talks about 4-H. And Jeannie Cruz, who's right there on the phone yes. taking an order for DVDs. Oh, yes. Um, she talks about the Military Museum. Well, she takes it home, doesn't she? She, she does. just takes these beautiful stories home with the Military Museum. Yeah, and absolutely. And she just is a great storyteller. All of our storytellers have done a wonderful job on yes. behalf of Cumberland County. Yes. And they're still celebrating with us tonight. They're they smiling. Are. We're energized. Love we love doing this. And we love doing this for you. Yes. And we love it when you call in. and give us some energy. We know that your support There's matters because call. we wouldn't be able to do this without you. So they're still calling. Yes. Keep those phones ringing. As the membership manager for WEIU, I encourage you, please pick up the phone and call. We want a phone blitz one last time tonight before we leave this place. You know what? I, I love being the membership manager for WEIU because we are a family here at WEIU. And you know what the greatest thing about our family is? There's, always, There's room. always room for one more. So pick up the phone and join the family of WEIU. We want you to be a part of us. We are your local public broadcasting station, and public broadcasting matters. We bring home local history like nobody else can. We are not a commercial station. We rely on your funding. 
the funding from viewers like you, and we thank you for that. And we thank you after every single program. We thank you as many times as we can because it really does matter. We wouldn't be able to do this without your support. So please continue to call tonight and give us your support. We're going to get back to the show here in a minute. We've got four more stories to share with you, and then we'll wrap up the show. So is there anything else you want to Oh, Stay tuned I just before we want go. to tell all of you, I love you, and I ho I'm so glad that you got to watch these wonderful stories tonight. Okay. Keep watching. You know what? It's going to air some more times over the weekend, and so be looking for it to, to pop up again, and please pick up the phone and order your DVD. That's right. We'll give you more details and four more stories. We'll see you in a bit. Yay! Yay!